St. Augustine, The Safe Haven for Runaway Slaves by Kathleen Hawkins. Spain's Control of Florida. In 1693, the King of Spain wanted to weaken England's rule in the New World. The King had problems with England and wanted to slowly but surely damage the England colonies and colonists. As countries began colonizing the New World, England was one of the most successful and Spain was not. They were not happy, so using its location in relation to the English colonies as an advantage, they decided to fight back. The King of Spain decided in order to weaken England in the New World, he issued a claim. He decreed that the slaves who ran away from the British colonies would be free if they converted to Catholicism and declared loyalty to Spain. As this information spread throughout the colonies, many slaves escaped to freedom. In doing this, he created one of the first African-American settlements. Slowly but surely, the news of the king's speech had spread and slaves began to hear it. They began to make their plans to escape and make their journey to Florida. With the arrival of so many now freed slaves, the government had to determine how to house them. In 1738, the governor of Florida decided to set up a separate town for the free Africans. The decision was made to build it two miles north of St. Augustine in a salty marsh so that it could act as a military outpost for the town. It was named Fort Mose after the Indian name for that area. Once the community of Fort Mose was formed, they had to learn how to provide for themselves. It took them a little while, but they finally decided how they wanted to provide for themselves and who else they wanted to provide for as well. With the new town, they had to decide a way to provide for themselves, so they began farming. African Americans who settled in Fort Mose raised food for themselves and other settlements in St. Augustine. They built churches and shops, and the men even formed their own military unit. The military unit that the men at Fort Mose formed was called a militia. It was well known. It defended St. Augustine and the surrounding area when James Oglethorpe attacked them. The military During the attack by James Oglethorpe, Fort Mose was destroyed. Although a second fort was created, it didn't seem to thrive as well as the first. During in 1763, the British gained control of Florida. Everyone who lived at Fort Mose, along with many Spanish settlers, fled to Cuba. Fort Mose acted as a place for slaves to escape to from 1738 to 1763. Fort Mose was the first African American settlement in the United States of America. It was full of culture and its traditions that were created were to be specific and unique to the settlement. The community of Fort Mose drew a range of backgrounds to create their culture. It was a mix of African, Spanish, Native American, and English traditions. St. Augustine, the safe haven for slaves, relates to conflict and compromise because the conflict was that slaves in the colonies had nowhere to escape to. They were being tortured but the compromise was that Spain offered a place that slaves could escape to and be free as long as they could converted to Catholicism and pledged their allegiance to Spain. Fort Mose was the first community of ex-slaves in the United States of America, founded in 1738. Now I will read to you a sign that stands in St. Augustine, very near to Fort Mose. El Pueblo de Gracia Real de Santa Teresa de Mose. On the shore of the Robinson Creek, one fourth mile east of this marker, was the site of a Spanish mission for Indians left homeless during Queen Anne's War. Since 1688, Negro slaves from the English colonies had found refuge in Spanish St. Augustine. On March 15, 1738, Governor Manuel de Monteo freed them in the name of the king. Later, he formed a village for them named Gracia Riel at Mose. Here, the freedmen would cultivate the ground and learn the Catholic religion.
For their protection, a moated earthwork was erected, called Fort Mose. In 1740, during the British attack against St. Augustine, the freedmen evacuated Mose, and Scotch Highlanders occupied it. At daybreak, June 26, in a decisive blow, the Spaniards ejected the enemy from the fort and later demolished it. The freedmen resettled in the village and rebuilt the earthwork in 1752, and later formed a militia company. The British dismantled Fort Mose after their rule in Florida. After they returned, the Spaniards rebuilt defenses at Mose in 1797. The East Florida Patriots occupied the deserted site in 1812 during their ill-fated attempt to overthrow Spanish rule. The local garrison, aided by the Negro militia and Indians, forced them to withdraw.